Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up alerting for CPU, memory and disk space when the usage crosses a specific limit. Let's say if the usage crosses 70% or 80%, I get an alert email telling me that this is the current usage. So before we set up alerting, we need to make sure that we have monitoring in place. Only once we have monitoring in place, on based of that, the alerts will be triggered. So in one of my earlier video, I showed you how to set up monitoring for CPU, memory and disk space. The link to this video, I'll put it in the description section below. And also you will find the link on the top right corner of this video. So let's go ahead. Let's take a quick recap. So this is my VM, TK-VM1. So by default, CPU usage will be monitored when you create the new VM for monitoring your memory. You need to be enabling it from diagnostic setting and for monitoring your disk space, you need to make sure your insight is enabled. Okay, so let's go ahead. First thing, let's set up alerting for CPU usage. So I'm going to alerts on my VM. I click on create alert rule. So CPU usage alerting is based on metrics. So I'm choosing signal type as metrics. I'm looking for CPU. So there are so many counters. The counter we are looking for is CPU, percentage CPU. So this is just a demo. So for demo purpose, let me choose the usage as 5%, but in your environment, it will be depending upon your client requirement or your server requirement if you want the alert at 80%, 90% or maybe at 95%. So evaluated based on granularity of five minutes and frequency of evaluation is one minute. So in five minutes, it's going to check at every minute, which is five times. So let's click on done. Now next step is action. I need to create an action group. Action group is nothing but I define am I going to receive an email SMS or something else so let's give it a name the notification type is going to be SMS email so I'm going to give my personal email address other options I have is SMS mobile app and voice message so let's keep it at email so action type this we can leave it blank tags we don't need tags so we have a test button if I click on test So there are so many templates available. Activity log alert. I click on test. It's going to send me a test email notification. So let's cancel this for now. Click on create. It would take few seconds. So alert details. Let's type it as CPU usage did rule description let's copy it as it is tax are not required review and create so quick look it is targeted on my subscription percentage CPU crosses 5% it will be checked every one minute for five minutes Click on create. Let's wait for a few seconds.
okay is it done yes so let's go to alert rules yes it is done so let's cross now let's move on to log analytics since i have already enabled diagnostic settings and insights the data for memory and disk space gets collected on log analytics and the alerts will be set up on log analytics so i click on alert i click on rule signal type in this case is going to be custom log search so this is a script for memory usage i copy the script so this is my vm name so this is just a demo so let's keep the memory as 10% when the memory usage crosses 10% click on run i can see the average memory usage is 34% so let's continue editing alert for average action add action group this is what i created when i was setting up alerts for cpu so i'm going to choose the same details so this is for memory memory exceeded paste the same description and enable as soon as it is completed it is created so tags are not required click on review and create create this is going to take few seconds maybe 15 to 20 seconds Let's check. I can see it here. Now the third one. Third one is disk space. Again, disk space is based on log analytics. So I'm going to log analytics. From there, I choose alerting. and then the signal type is going to be custom log search so it's asking me for the query i'll copy paste the query for disk space so this is a test demo so i'm choosing it free space is less than 95% so this is reverse it's it's for the free space it's not for the occupied space so when the free space falls below 95% i need an alert so let's click on run but in your environment it will be somewhere around 20 when the free space is as low as 20% or when the free space is left below 5% but here let's choose 95 Okay, so many errors. This is going to be average. Sorry, free space. And when the data output is anything more than zero, I'm referring to the log analytics data. so is it created okay so i have my memory exceeded alert i have my disk space exceeded alert so once again memory and disk space are configured on 
the default workspace but CPU alert is configured on matrix so for that I need to go to VM alerts okay so now let me log into my VM this is my VM TK-VM1 so it would take at least 5 minutes before the alert is triggered so I have set up a threshold of 95% when the free space falls below 95% so only 11 GB is occupied which is less than 95% so in 5 minutes I should get an alert and my CPU usage is 14-15% and memory is already running high so let me CPU usage let me intentionally spike the usage for this system let this go on for a couple of minutes okay so I'll pause the video here and once I have the alerts for CPU usage memory usage disk space I'm going to show you how does the email look like the email templates look like so see you soon in a few minutes So let's go to my emails so when I created the action group this was the first mail which I got says you are now in the email notification action group then the next alert was when the CPU was ex exceeded 5% so Azure activated severity 3 severity 3 CPU exceeded threshold and my alert I have the rule ID resource ID the counter name average over the last 5 minutes and the value was 8.5 when it was triggered next alert was memory usage fired severity 3 and this is giving my default workspace name so this was a random workspace name but if you like you can give the workspace name something more appropriate to your work you are doing so again the severity the workspace name the search criteria average when the alert was fired the value was 30 and the last alert is for disk space so again fired severity 3 the name of the lock workspace when it was triggered the value was 89% so the subject line is different when you are configuring it for log workspace and it's a bit different when you are configuring it for metrics so this was in our today's video and the query I have given here for memory and disk space I'll put this query in the description section below so if you have found this video useful please like this video and if you have any questions please leave the questions in the comment section below thank you so much for watching